Word to actual. Please respond. Yelena, do you read me? Damn. NZ Tech Freak here once again for AndroidNZ.net and today what I'm bringing you is a guide for how to connect this Galaxy S3 to one of these, a Sony PS3 controller and more than that, how to do that wirelessly over Bluetooth uh, and that's going to require a root application called 6-axis controller which is available for a very reasonable price from the market and of course a little bit of equipment so what we have here is a mini USB cable and we're going to connect that first of all to the PS3 controller and then of course at the other end to a USB on the go cable and we're going to plug that into the PS3 to perform the pairing. Once we've got that in there and it's been recognized we can open up the 6-axis controller app which has recently actually had some substantial improvements in that you can now do all of the control appearing from the phone itself you used to require a PC and it's very straightforward to do you'll see that the pairing lights are flashing on the PS3 controller we're going to hit pair controller Grant a permission, it says master address updated, and it's as simple as that. It should all be connected now, and the S3 should see this as a natively supported controller, even though it's going via Bluetooth. If we remove that, we should see one light pop up. There we go. So pairing's been successful. Uh, we now have a PS3 controller paired wirelessly over Bluetooth to our Galaxy S3, you can see their client connected. Obviously there's more to that if you want to use it to control games that don't support gamepads. And now that we're connected, we're gonna go into settings and show you how to do that. So preferences, touch emulation, edit touch profiles, will bring you into the part of the app where you do that. Don't be perturbed by a blank screen initially. What you need to do is add a screenshot from within the game to the screen. So we're gonna grab one I took from Nova 3, and we're going to rotate it so that it's displayed correctly on screen. And then we're going to add some buttons. So basically, if you press the menu button, add a button, 
we'll start off with the left analog stick and we'll put it where the movement controls are on the Galaxy S3. And then of course we'll add the right analog stick for looking and moving. There we go. And just for good measure, one other button. Um, this time I'm going to add the triangle button and I'm going to put it up in the top right corner where I'm indicating there uh, to where the reload and change weapons position is. And the reason I'm going to show this is actually in order to get changing weapons to work correctly, we need to add a swipe button because that's what you do on screen there to change weapons. So with the button selected, you can tell it's pink. If we go into button properties, you'll see that we can change it from normal touch mode to a swipe mode and we can increase or decrease the swipe distance. So that means we'll be able to use that button to change weapons. Uh, similarly, the analog sticks have their own button properties with lots and lots of options for how to change their sensitivity, uh, the dead zone, which is the distance you need to move the stick in order to initiate movement, and movement delay if that was required. So lots and lots of options to configure. Then, of course, once you're set up within the 6-axis controller app, you need to choose the touch profile that you're going to be using during the game. So if we back out to that, you'll see it there. And we're going to select the Nova 3 Beta, my test patch. Uh, and that's all there is to it. And if you like, you can actually download my own Nova 3 button pairings. Uh, you'll see a link at the end of the video to do that. So that's all I had for you today. Nice and easy guide for how to pair up a PS3 controller wirelessly to a Galaxy S3. And also how to use that PS3 controller to control games that don't actually support gamepads natively. Like lots of game loss titles, many of which benefit greatly uh, from having that kind of control. So that's all for today. That's NZ Tech Freak over and out for AndroidNZ.net.